Of Aristotle's five elements, only one does not exist on Earth. Ether, in ancient Greek, means pure fresh air, and was mythologized as the essence where the gods lived. The earthly elements are fire, wind, water, and Earth itself. This elementary view of the nature of things is one that will help save the world. Assertiveness and passion are typically associated with the element fire. It is this fire, this passion, which drives us to find a way to save our world. Prometheus the Titan stole fire from the gods to give to otherwise helpless mortals and was punished for his actions. The same attitudes which cause the Promethean punishment are applied to those who seek through assertiveness and passion to supply the world's energy supply. Practicality and restraint about energy use would best typify the element Earth. Our wasteful use of fossil fuels and personal transportation and large-scale energy production diverts a precious natural resource. These fossil fuels could be used on Earth as a fertilizer to increase food production as the population of the Earth grows. Furthermore, the combustion of these fossil fuels pollutes something that we all need to live, our pure fresh air, our ether. The final two elements, water and air, are the solutions to the world's energy problems. Water represents emotion and intuition, and air represents power in Aristotle's description of the physical world. Water and air are both fluids, and when heated with clean energy sources like nuclear or photovoltaic solar, can be used to drive turbines which in turn create electrical energy. We can also harness the power of water and air in their natural states. Fortunately, these are also proven methods, as our planet has used the power of water and air to shape her face for billions of years. The movement of air, powered naturally by our Earth's atmosphere, can be harnessed with wind turbines. The water vapor? eventually released as rain, can also be harvested. Run of river hydropower schemes collect water which falls in the mountains as rain and snow. The water is directed through a pipe until it passes through a turbine. These turbines, both water and air, when used in combination with a battery, such as a pump storage hydropower system, can provide reliable and consistent power. To conserve the natural essence of our earth, we have to go back in time. Ancient technologies such as water wheels and windmills can be used to solve our modern energy problems. And the side effects will result in more food and cleaner air. Maybe that Aristotle guy was onto something.